Hello and welcome. Surprise, this is a special reading for um, the air sign for um, <laughs> for Halloween. Okay, so um, we are looking at the energies for the air signs for Halloween. Okay, so um, I haven't got my Halloween de decorations because I wanted to go um, find nice stuff. I couldn't find any nice stuff. I didn't get to bring them over from the States. So I couldn't find any nice stuff. So I am just doing it and I'm going to be um, <laughs> um, Frankenstein wife. Okay. So, all right. So, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, what we are not aware of with Halloween is that when Halloween comes up is as if um, Halloween basically, and I'm going to try and turn this. Yes. Halloween basically um, on the 31st of October. It is uh, an unusual time because um, right back in um, why is Halloween so important is that Halloween fall in a metro in a retrograde in this year. And this is why I'm giving these readings, because most of um, the United States of America holidays are fall and specific dates that has specific meanings behind it without people even knowing. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Guess what came out? yeah so people are finding out um things now okay so with this halloween um you ear sign the truth is going to be coming out whenever this energy comes up is that um light is going to be shedding on stuff like i just gave information so light is going to be shedding on stuff so we're seeing this sort of energy that is coming up so this is going to be good and I'm very, very sorry, but I got to go for two minutes. Two minutes. I got to go for two minutes. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, sorry. And I'm not breaking the video because I hate breaking the video when these, these things happen. All right. So Halloween is like the special, special time of the years. And for you fire signs, um, it's a time where you can manifest. Okay. So once it is something positive, and this is what I say to people. I was having a conversation yesterday with my very good friend. And he said, I want to manifest. And I said, it's retro retrograde. But because he's a watcher, he can manifest whether it's retrograde or not. So he is an air sign. And um, for you guys, um, when it is even time for, um, um, especially Halloween, because it's a mystical, like this, this whole entire week is going to be mystical for the next 21 days okay so for the next 21 days from the 31st till the next 21 days after the 31st it's going to be very mystical okay um this is what a lot of people are not aware but for the very very extremely good astrologue um they know these um things okay so this is why i'm giving um this reading so if you want a harder um, a reading to see when and which days are strong for you to manifest, please use the link below and you can order your Halloween readings. It's a 21 day reading. Okay. Cause this is just for the air sign people. Okay. So, um, you guys is as if you're guides and angels for, this is for the, um, Aquarian, Gemini and Libran. And it's as if a lot of messages coming out. Okay. So, um, some truth is going to be here for you guys. Okay. And uh, then we have two other messages. So some of you, um, for the next 21 days, that is after the 31st, 31st of uh, October for the next 21 days, 
a lot of information is going to be coming out okay so there is also another message for someone out there we see the ace of bells which is the ace of swords and we the see the seven of a torn we see the seven of torn so some of you could have some business situations whatever it is and whatever is transpiring i'm seeing this in the reverse for you guys okay so whatever is happening on the work floor you need to communicate whatever that is happening with your business you need to communicate whatever that is transpiring communication is going to be the key for you guys okay so obviously i'm seeing that communication is going to be um the key for you guys whatever is happening and transpiring communication is going to be the key i'm seeing the four of bells some of you are tired some of you are really tired whatever is going on whatever is transpiring some of you are really really tired so um this energy is going to affect so i'm seeing the truth coming out i'm seeing information i'm seeing some of you are going to be finding out something about your work your business whatever that however that is transpiring okay so some communication is going to be coming out some information is going to be coming out and then we have the nine of vols in the reverse we have the nine of vols in the reverse now the nine of vols is the nine of cups it is your wishes and dreams so all right this is going to be a very long reading because i'm going to give a general reading then we're going to be looking at your money um then we're going to be looking at your money then we're going to be looking at um uh relationships so it's going to be a long reading but anyway let's um gather up and see we're going to be also looking at different aspects of what is transpiring for you aries so this is all the halloween reading for um the aries they are in sagittarius whatever is happening and transpiring let's check out what is going on so we have um situation information that is going to be coming out on um and it's it's, it's going to be for some of you who are dealing with the liberants um some of you could be dealing with the liberants on the work floor however that is happening and transpiring for you you could be dealing with the liberant on the work floor so that is coming out so let's say what else is coming up for you air signs so we have the energy of the six of vols the six of vols is issues with family is going to be coming out information about your family is going to be coming out so be aware of that so here we have justice justice against an injustice situation that has to inspire or um of all the way this is coming up this could be the communication of a libra telling you something about the family the three of candles is here which the three of candles is a very very wonderful and positive energies because as you know the energy of candles is very positive it is the energies of the ones okay so remember that the haze of bells the bells are the air sign so as we move forward and we're looking at this situation we see um the three of cancer which is the three of ones now the visionary is here and i love when the visionary is here because it's an organization whatever this situation is and whatever this organization some of you have to do with an organization okay so this organization could be coming up basically as um the visionary is uh, some of you could be working and manifesting something in your life so if that's what you're doing go ahead and do it and we have the seven of candles which um the seven of candles is you standing your ground standing your ground against an a situation an issue a situation something that has happened and transpire so your wishes and dreams is not coming through okay in and in, in, in this halloween um period it's not coming through but i'm seeing you standing your grounds against an organization really standing your ground so then we have the numerous which is uh, supposed to be a lucky card it came out in the reverse so whatever the message is is that this numerous in the reverse is that some of you are going to be finding out something about 
friends or family whatever that information is that you're going to be finding out about friends and family is definitely definitely going to affect you then we have the two of candles now the energy with the two of candles it's an offer that is going to be coming in there is an offer that is going to be coming in so if you have a legal issue or a legal situation or something to do with some injustice, I'm seeing they're going to be offering something or offering you something. The three of tombs is here. Again, number three is playing a significant role. So it's all about the body, mind and soul for you air signs. It's all about the body, mind and soul for you air signs. Okay. Remember, my readings are timeless. So for some of you, you could have, uh, um, you, you, if it's not in the next 21 days, it could be the next 21 days afterwards, because it is the energy of Halloween. Now, from the 31st of October until the 31st of March is a very, very mysterious time. Some people um, have it to the 31st of January. Some people have it to the 31st of, of March. And seeing that 2020 is going to be a new year, a new year of so many different issues that is coming up. The nine of tombs is here. So I'm seeing a situation with you and an organization and some money. The nine of tombs. Okay. The nine of tombs is the nine of pentacles. So whatever is transpiring, I'm seeing some collaboration and it has to do with work there is definitely some changes that is going to be coming into work for you guys so um this is good and the last energy you have is the explorer of the tombs this is the knight of pentacles the explorer of the tomb is the knight of pentacles okay so i'm seeing this explorer of the tombs could be have to pain um, some of you back a lot of money okay so whatever is happening I'm not seeing love you could you could manifest love in this time period but I'm not seeing love coming up because you have the ace of vase in the reverse okay so I'm not seeing love coming up because you have the ace of vase in return and whenever this energy is in the return, um, you gotta be aware and, 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 you know, just realize what exactly is transpiring and happening. So I'm seeing the tombs of boss in a return. So let's go ahead and, um, check this reading out to see who, what exactly is going to be happening. Okay. So, all right. And remember to share these videos because this is a, um, a powerful video. It is all about Halloween and all about the magic um, that a portal is open. Actually, on the twenty, the thirty first of October, there's always a portal open. A lot of people doesn't speak about this. You have to be very metaphysics to actually know what is happening and what is transpiring. Okay, so as we're looking at this, we're seeing. As some of you have the courage to manifest, um, but it's in the reverse. So this means if you're manifesting, you only have to manifest something for yourself and something that is very positive that your angels and guides are going to be um, offering you. Okay. Then we have the energy of the six of falls where there is going to be issues. I'm seeing offers coming up from family okay so there could be um friends or family could be offering you something these could be soul family that you are connecting and going to be connecting with soul families because i'm seeing that they're going to be offering you something these could be people from past life i'm seeing you reconnecting with them and they could be offering you something okay so um here you're seeing um what is happening now when we look at this energy and this is some um, when we look at this energy something um that was that was being either done um under um not in the eyes of people to a capricorn is going to be coming out so whatever is transpiring is that this is a time where um you're basically being put out there where a lot of stuff because there was something that some of you have done against a Capricorn that is going to be coming out via justice, justice 
um it's going to be showing this up okay um what we're also seeing here is that some of you are dealing with some issues with a scorpion and a um aries okay so um wh whoever these scorpions and whoever these aries are coming up but some of you have done something in the past against a capricorn and I'm seeing the truth coming out and I'm seeing light is being shed on the truth. Okay. Communication is here. 333, three, three, the Ascendance Masters is going to be helping you air signs in this period. 333 three, three is here. What I'm also seeing that is coming up is that communication. Um, and with the three of wands is that some of you are going to communicate that you want a new start, that you want to move forward, that, that, you know, you want to man manifest new start, new situations in your life. And this is coming up because I'm seeing your communication is in the reverse. And this is a magical, mystical time for you guys. And remember, this can happen within 21 days because this is reading is timeless and it is for, um, the, um, the um halloween period that is coming in so if it doesn't happen this 21 days that is coming up it's going to happen 21 days afterwards or the 21 days afterwards because my readings are timeless and it depends on which energy vibration you're working on okay so what we're seeing here that um some of you are dealing with some situation on the work floor okay and the situation that you're dealing with on the work floor um definitely has to do with uh, some of you could be affected by um a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn between the age of 18 and 45. So whatever is transpiring, you're seeing this person for who this person is on the work floor. Um, this is a young energy. This is someone between age of 18 and 45. So this is coming up very strongly, and some of you are dealing with this issue basically on the work floor okay so be aware of that what we're seeing is that some of you are standing your grounds against and liberate however this liberate is i'm seeing you standing your ground against a liberate and i'm seeing you trying to resolve an issue the nine of vowels is in the reverse so there is ending there is ending for this Halloween reading. It's a mystical reading. There's a lot of mystical things that is going to be happening. I'm seeing a lot of endings coming up. So whatever is happening and transpiring, I'm seeing a lot of endings coming up. You have, it's, it's, it's as if you need to manifest your wishes and dreams, you air sign. You really need to manifest your wishes and dreams. A lot of you air sign are going to be manifesting new things. It's time to manifest new things. It's time to look in the future it's time to go in the future it's time to move forward because you have the energy of number three that is coming up so you guys have three and nine that is here okay so what we're also seeing is that some of you there's no communication with a family um some of you um needs to communicate with a family but i'm seeing you really looking forward and not trying to communicate with a family for whatever the reasons i am seeing that an offer is going to be coming in an offer should be coming in um if you manifest whatever it is whatever you need whatever this offer is that you need if you manifest it it will come in your life okay right now it's not there but uh, you need to manifest uh, um this in your life then what we're seeing is that some truth is going to come out on the work floor for some of you. So some of you, there was some deceptiveness going on the work floor and it's going to be coming out. And I'm seeing people are collaborating to bring this truth out. So whatever that was happening on the work floor, I am seeing people collaborating to bring the truth out to find out exactly what has been transpired because the en the energy is the center of justice. So if you don't have a legal situation, I'm seeing um, a Libran, a Libran that is going to be bringing out the truth on the work floor, whatever is transpired. I'm seeing a Libran getting to the bottom of a situation and resolving a situation, okay? So again, I'm seeing a lot of you manifestation of uh, new beginnings, new start, new things, looking forward. Some of you are wants to move away from an issue. 
and I'm seeing that some of you needs to wake up now some of you needs to wake up whatever is happening you need to wake up whatever is transpiring you need to wake up whatever that has been going on you need to wake up and I think what is going to transpire with this magical period because it's, it's basically a magical period that you need to wake up and stand your ground and let people um you know realize that you know just don't try to walk over me because i will never take that okay so whatever is happening it's all about you standing up manifesting what it is that you need to manifest in your life i'm seeing that money is going to be coming in if you're collaborating if you wish to start a, a business you can't start now but if you decide to start in the future and collaborating i'm seeing a lot of money that is going to be coming in i'm seeing network i'm seeing things are going to doors are going to be opening up for your business networking and and that sort of a thing things are definitely going to be opening up for your business i see a lot of people that is looking at what you're doing and um, appreciates it okay so again the energy of uh, the seven is here and this is situation at work the work floor or um your project some of you are not having any luck with your project this is, is showing up and just wait until um until um just wait for the next 21 days okay as you go because this is for you air sign people if you have a business that you're trying to get out and it's not working just wait 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 okay um i'm seeing the nine your wishes and dreams are not being manifested and if you notice this is what comes up you need to you need to learn to start manifesting your wishes and dream okay you need to call upon the universe and say look this is what i want it is the time of the halloween and what is transpiring and happening for you guys in halloween is that you're given the gift to receive what it is you're looking for so what we have here is that definitely i'm seeing some of you dealing at work or in an organization however this is coming up for you I'm seeing you dealing with um, um, someone between the ages of 18 and 45 in an organization. It could be on the work floor, okay? We are going to be looking deeper to see what exactly is happening and transpiring because this is a, a magical time where you need to re release and resolve this situation that is coming up, okay? It has something to do with money. I, as some of you, this person needs to pay you back some money. So I want you guys to write this down and I'm going to leave it in the, in, um, in, um, in the video, um, your mystical number. Okay. Your mystical number, um, is going to be three and nine. Three and nine is going to be your mystical number. So, um, whatever you're doing for the next 21 days or the 21 days thereafter, because this is a timeless, because as I've said, my readings are timeless. These are timeless reading. So as we move forward through this manifestation period, this is a timeless video. So we're going to be checking out. And remember, your number is three and nine. Okay. Three and nine. So obviously, the body, mind and soul is going to be affected. So um, I always say to people, uh, manifest things for yourself and not manifesting things for other people because um, you air sign people have the, uh, the, the, the energy to manifest these things for yourself, okay? There is a message that is coming out and it's going to be, there's a couple messages that comes out about the three, um, about moving forward, moving forward and connecting. Some of you could be thinking about an organization, the energy of the tower. Okay, so um, some of you have a burden dealing with an organization. Okay, some of you have burdens dealing with an organization. Um, some of you wanted to have a new start with um 
maybe a new organization and this could be coming up because i'm seeing whoever and whatever that was blocking the move is going to be released okay all right so angels and guide show us what we need to know for this mystical reading so i'm seeing um conflicts in the family it could be with friends family legal issue i'm seeing conflicts so it could be friends family legal issue i'm seeing conflicts with an organization with um legalities okay it has to do with people from past lives so you could have an ex and um they want to create obstacles but um i am seeing that you are dealing with a situation so it could be if you are looking for a mortgage or that sort of a thing i'm seeing um um really really um conflicts some of you are having this conflicts that you really really need to release because you're not communicating properly i'm seeing that you're finally going to be communicating an ox accent for what you need i'm seeing you finally going to be communicating an accent for what you need and this is going to be good so you're bringing up manifestation i'm seeing a tower moment coming down with a, a networking I, i'm seeing some of you had gotten an offer but a tower moment is coming down with a networking whatever um um that is all about for some of you so you could be connected with people networking but a tower moment is coming down i'm seeing the energy of uh, um an aries Leo or sagittarius this is a man some of you could be having some legal issues um, they're going to be finding out that this man has been lying um, all the time. This man has been very deceiving and lying. I'm seeing justice coming up on this man. There was um, an Aries man or woman, okay? So what I'm seeing is that if you were dealing with an, um, an, um, a fire sign person that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, um, woman and man 45 years and older i'm seeing a tower moment coming down for them so let's hope it's not your parents i'm seeing this coming up as a, an organization institution a tower moment is coming down for them i'm seeing you re removing yourself and releasing yourself again this energy of money is going to be coming in to you guys so if you're working on a project or you're working on your business and it's slow uh, Mercury is in retrograde, so just let it go and let it come to you, okay? I'm seeing that money has to be, um, um, either someone has to, uh, is going to be bringing back money, because if you're manifesting money, money is going to be coming in slowly. It could be for your project. Remember, do not give up, because this period is a period of, uh, um, it's good to manifest because you guys are a hair sign. I'm seeing the King of Cups, whoever this King of Cups is. I'm seeing that this King of Cups um, could be someone you have collaborated in a business or at work with in the past. I'm seeing this King of Cups have to pay you a lot of money. So whoever is out there that you have worked with a King of Cups uh, and whatever this issue and situation is, this person is going to be paying you back a lot of money did this person hold you some money um they're going to be paying you back a lot of money ten of cups i'm seeing the situation with families is going to be balanced out because i'm seeing that some of you are really really standing up um, to balance out family situation because um I'm, I'm seeing that you're manifesting and asking for healing for your family issues i'm seeing People are working with institutes and organization to help their kids, to help their family, whether you're, you're, you're manifesting love therapy or that sort of a thing, but it is definitely coming up. Some of you are dealing with a young Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. And what I'm seeing is that I'm seeing that you're going to be, um, standing, you're standing really, um, strong against this person because, uh, um, they found out that, um, this person could be a child. But I'm seeing you standing up and like you are standing up against this person, whoever this person is. So I'm seeing here six and two, eight. Some of you are going to decide to turn your back to a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. And this is definitely, hey Pisces, I see some of you are going to be standing up 
and could be turning your back for a from, for, from a Pisces or you could be leaving 